students today we are going to learn continuous series quadrant deviation so dear students in continuous series to find out quadrant deviation first you have to identify class intervals okay so before that you have to arrange the data in ascending order okay like this 0 to 10 10 to 20 like that and after that you have to find out cumulative frequency that is frequency 4 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 10 plus 22 is 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 like that okay students so after calculating cumulative frequency the next step is you have to identify class intervals for q1 and q3 by applying n by 4 for q1 and n by 4 into 3 for q3 okay students after that after identifying class intervals you have to find out q1 and q3 in continuous series by applying the following formulas q1 is equal to l plus n by 4 minus cf divided by f into class interval difference and for finding out q3 you have to apply l plus 3 into n by 4 minus cf divided by f into ci okay students please watch this video carefully okay students now we have to find out n by 4 to find out q1 class interval so n by 4 so here n is equal to 59 n is equal to 59 so to find out n by 4 n by 4 for q1 n by 4 is equal to 59 by 4 59 by 4 is equal to how much 59 by 4 is equal to 14.75 so you have to find out 14.75 in cumulative frequency in cumulative frequency so it is not there here it is not there here so in 22 14.75 is there so for q1 class interval is 20 into 30 for q1 class interval is equal to 20 to 30 right and for you have to find out class interval for q3 okay so for q3 the formula is n by 4 into 3 n by 4 into 3 is equal to okay this is for q1 and this is for q3 so 59 divided by 4 into 3 that comes to how much 177 divided by 4 that comes to 44.25 students you have to find out where 44.25 lies in cumulative frequency so 44.25 so 22 is not there okay 22 for q1 and 38 is not there 44.25 is in 49 okay so this is class interval for q3 q3 okay for q3 class interval is equal to 40 to 50 40 to 50 okay students now you have to apply these formulas to find out q1 q1 is equal to you have to apply this formula q1 is equal to l plus n by 4 minus cf by f into ci dear students l is equal to what for q1 lower class interval is equal to 20 okay na l is equal to 20 n by 4 is equal to 14 n by 4 is equal to 14.75 okay and next cf is equal to you have to take the preceding one this one 12 so cf is equal to 12 okay uh, and then comes f is equal to f is equal to 10 f is equal to 10 okay class interval difference is equal to 10 now you have all the data to find out q1 
okay students what is the so now you have to take these into formula so 20 plus 20 plus 14.75 minus 14.5 cf is equal to 12 divided by divided by frequency is equal to 10 into 10 that comes to how much that comes to 20 plus 2.75 divided by 10 into 10 okay that comes to again 20 plus so 2.75 into 10 is equal to 27.5 by 10 that comes to okay if you divide 27.5 with the 10 that comes to 2.75 so q1 is equal to 22.75 this is the answer my dear students q1 okay now we go for q3 now we go for q3 what is q3 so again you have already identified q3 isn't it 4250 so here the formula is equal to q3 is equal to okay l plus l plus n by 4 into 3 minus cf by f into ci yes, okay so what is l for q3 class interval l lower class interval you have to take L is equal to 40. Okay, na? L is equal to 40. N by 4 into 3. That comes to 44.25. 44.25. You have to take that. And CF. What is CF, students? CF means, so this is the Q3 class interval. And this is 49. Above 49, 38 is the, you know, that is CF is equal to 38. Okay, and frequency is opposite to Q3 class interval, this one 11. And next CA class interval difference is equal to 10. Now we have to apply that formula. Okay, so Q3 is equal to 40 plus 3 into N by 4 is equal to 44.25 divided by, uh, sorry, minus 38 divided by 11 frequency into 10. That comes to how much? That comes to 40 plus, so 44.25 minus 38 is equal to 6.25 by 11 into 10. Okay, 40 plus 6.25 into 10 is equal to 62.5 divided by 11 is equal to that. That comes to how much? That comes to almost 6.5.681, isn't it? 5.681. So you have to add that 40 plus 5.681 is equal to Q3 is equal to Q3 is equal to 45.681. This, my dear students. So you have now Q1 that is 22.75. Okay, and Q3 45.681. Now you have to find out. Okay, students, now you have to find out quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation. So, what is the formula for finding out quartile deviation? Quartile deviation is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2. That comes to, what is Q3? 45.681 minus, what is Q1? 22.75 divided by 2. That comes to, how much? That comes to 22.931 divided by 2 that is equal to 11.465 this is quartile deviation okay students now let us find out co coefficient of quartile deviation coefficient of quartile deviation is equal to the formula q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 okay so you have to q3 minus q1 is equal to what is q3 45.681 minus 22.75 divided by 45.681 plus 22.75 that comes to 22.931 divided by divided by so when you add up this six this comes to 68.431 okay so when you divide 22.93 22.931 with 68.431 you will get 0 0.335 this is coefficient of quarter deviation.